Yeah, and so let's go to through the table. Okay. And another thing I wanted to quickly touch on, something you mentioned too, is when you're in Vegas, make sure you have a roadmap of the layout of where everything is. It's going to get confusing. The biggest thing you can do is look up. If you look up, they'll have the row numbers based by thousands. So like the row 7,000, everything, so on and forth. So it'll help you versus trying to look at the ground at each booth because you will get lost. And the way that it was split up this time, um, once a lot of the sections were independent. So you'd have like, you know, manufacturing and commercial on one side, consumer and home grow and all that on the other side. But a lot of those booths were also mixed in based on like their demographic or the service of industry that they serve. So if you go with a roadmap, you'll be able to hit more spots along the way. Because mm -hmm. if not, people will start to talk to you. You'll start to talk to somebody else. You'll see something. And then an A to B becomes a 15 minute walk trying to just get to a couple booths down. So take that in consideration. Yeah, it's definitely something to take into consideration when you're going there. Another thing was, is they had an app that kind of showed you where everything was. So that's, that was helpful. Yeah. And if you didn't know the app exists and what's cool about the app is if somebody scans your badge, they will, the app will show you if somebody's interested in talking with you. And not only will give you that information, but it's a great communicator tool while you're at the event, trying to speak with vendors and getting more information on the fly. Yeah, so let's dive into some of these goodies that we got. There's let's go. Kind of a lot. Well, the first one I want to talk about is the one that I brought home, which is this little bong piece I got at um, one of the dispensaries out there. Now, that dives into my first topic, the dispensaries. I was slightly disappointed with some of the bud at some of these big, profound dispensaries, mainly because it just didn't look good in my opinion. That's my opinion. I thought, you know, stuff that they were trying to sell for $400 to $700 an ounce was like what I would grow and what I would produce on my own. And the stuff that was really cheap and effective, it just looked really brown, round, and yellow. And it was not good. And you yeah, saw that firsthand. I did. Um, you're paying for the experience, not necessarily the quality. So, but it still, I mean, gets you right. So... It's not all bad. It's not all bad, but it would be cool to see more dispensaries really bring in some genetics that we all know, like Fast Buds or Compound or more Jungle Boys or more Cookies or more other brands that were prevalent too that where we all should know the lineage. A lot of times you talk to these dispensary people and they don't know what it's crossed with. They don't know who it's bred by. They don't know anything. And for somebody that really cares about cannabis, those are really solid questions, you know, mm -hmm. especially if you're going to invest $400 an ounce at retail price at a dispensary, which honestly, I think in my opinion is ridiculous. But let's dive in. Yeah, let's dive in. Where do we want to start? Well, you're my special guest and new okay. host here. We'll also still have Paul, but ladies... Lacey is more pretty. Thanks. So I want to talk about some of the cool hats we got first. Go for it. This was one of the first hats that I found. It is Juicy Concentrates. I really, really, really like the stitch pattern on here and all the colors, and I thought they were very cool. So I had to have one. And I also have a couple shirts um, that I got to kind of dig under. But <coughs> I like the colors. It's very... Um, bright and i mean with pink hair bright is kind of my thing and then we got another one over here it's kind of like a neon green yeah you can bring it over all right i want to show them we'll just start so everything was colorful at this booth and i love that yep so these are the ones that we liked very colorful and they also came with matching hats yeah so i kind of grabbed them based on what i I was trying to color coordinate a little bit. All right. So then these I thought were really cool. So this is, um, uh, no, there's a company. It's nickel something, nickel label company. And this company was, they, they can make like custom basically anything. And I thought these are cool. They're silicone. So kind of flexible, squishy, mm -hmm. <laughs> easy to clean. And then, let's see. So I'm going to kind of just go with what is in front of me first. Actually, I was doing the hats, wasn't I? I was. 
I got an awesome Drip Hydro hat. Um, love the company. They were very, very nice and very friendly. Um, I had a lot of fun talking to Renata. She was awesome, and she also has blue hair, so we kind of vibed on, on that level. There you go. And then, let's see. I think this is a drip. Taking all the merch off the table. I'm just trying to show them. Uh, yeah, this is a drip, I think. Oh, this is Power C, um, which is, they were in the same area. Power but SI. Power, sorry, Power SI. My bad. But I like it. It's tie-dye. It's fun. It's cute. If I, if I believe correctly, Drip owns Power SI. Yeah, or the other way around, I think. And then also, the sweater. I want to show them the sweater. Oh. I love this. It's thick material, so it'll keep you warm. And it's just awesome. I love it. It's cool. I like the tie-dye pattern. I also love black, so it kind of worked. Very nice. And then let's go down the line. So we also went by Bovita. Our good friends at Bovita. Yep, we love Bovita. Unfortunately, Emily was busy and I did not get an interview with her this year. But don't worry, we're going to be seeing each other at the National Cannabis Festival. Mm -hmm. So make sure to get up with her then. 